I was diagnosed uh, with breast cancer a few days after my 34th birthday. I was going to hospital and honestly, I was seeing pregnant women because the departments are very close to each other and I was saying to myself, I should have come to hospital to deliver a baby. Instead, I come to hospital to see if I survive. We just started our life and unfortunately, this news crushed us simply crushes. There was a discussion about infertility produced by the treatment. It was sad thinking I might not be able to have a child, but at that time I decided to start my treatment as soon as possible. My focus being just to survive for the moment. I had chemotherapy, I had surgery, I had radiotherapy. Uh, to start the treatment, I went and I cut my hair short. That it was devastating. I remember the time I could hear my hair falling on my coat. You, you think, ah, oh, it's just hair, it grows back, but at the time it has a deep impact on you and on your mental health. When you get the world clear, it's like, it's a joy. I celebrate it. <laughs> I know it sounds weird uh, and I still celebrate every year the last day of my treatment. We're going out, we have a glass, rice a glass or two. <laughs> but at the same time I'm thinking, when does he come back? Uh, that thought it's only sh shadowing, whatever you do. We got a puppy when we made peace with the idea that we won't have children because uh, we tried, we tried, it didn't happen, we didn't want to go on the alternative options, so we decided to get a puppy. <laughs> but one month after we got a puppy, I got pregnant. <laughs> We've been so happy. <laughs> it was our lucky charm. <laughs> I think Mia was the miracle that life gave me. Being a mom makes me a new person and the best person that I could ever be. Mia was like the best that could have happened to me. I really hope that in the future there will be better survival rates. I just hope my daughter doesn't go through what I went. It's devastating to think that she will go through what I went through.